Oh man, I've missed this. Happy Sunday fun day, y'all! What? So I've been debating whether or not I should start telling stories on here every once in a while. The problem is, I've been very hesitant because I don't know if I should tell you these stories or not. But you guys don't have a choice. I'm just gonna start off with a bang. One summer, my friend was having a party at his house. We were celebrating one of my other friend's birthday and we were all having a great time. We ordered pizza and the pizza guy comes. We're all like, hey, pizza boy, what is up? Everybody was feeling good, everybody was feeling it. We were happy that pizza was there. An hour later, my friend comes in from the back door saying, cops are here. What? No! We all run inside. We turn off all the lights, turn off the music. My friend actually took a shot <laughs> before we went to go hide. Stupid idea. And so I remember I was in a closet in the dark with a few other people and all we hear is bang 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 on the door. Police! Open up! I was like, oh my god, this is like a movie, this is like a movie, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Anyways, everybody was panicking. It was not fun at all, but we were naive back then and we thought, oh, they would just, they're just gonna go and we're gonna be fine. They're not gonna stay there. <laughs> all of a sudden we hear a man's voice come in from the sliding back door. Okay, everybody come out. My heart dropped. First of all, this is illegal what this cop did. He came in from the back door, walked in. He doesn't have a warrant. He can't do that. That's freaking illegal. Anyways, that was... Ugh. Anyways, he tells us to come out. Cool. Everybody was just like... Hey. I remember, I remember there was maybe three policemen in there. Uh... <laughs> it was breathalyzer time. Okay. Can you calm down? I will never forget the moment that the policeman said, blow. <laughs> After we blew, they wrote in permanent marker what level, I remember it was exactly right here because I kept it there for like a week. So then they looked at everybody's ID and blah blah blah, and then they called our parents. All the parents came and picked up their kids. <laughs> My mom was pretty chill about it. So I didn't get in that much trouble by her. But that night caused me to take classes, go to meetings, and go to court. Okay, next story. There is an amusement park about an hour away from my house. It's called Holiday World. It's in a town called Santa Claus. I'm not even joking. There's Santa Claus sh everywhere. I had a few family members work there as performers and I thought they were stars. I thought they were famous when I was little. I always wished I could hang out with the performers for one night. What do you know? That wish came true. The performers and divers were having a house party that summer night. My cousin worked there at the time and he took me and my other cousin to this party. You can't imagine my excitement that night. I was so ready. My drinks for the night were all screwdrivers. I had the biggest crush on this one diver. He was very tall. He had sandy blonde curly hair and he was tan and his body was amazing. Spoiler alert, I found out later he likes the guys. The night went on and what happens at these kinds of parties you may ask? A lot of drinking, dancing, and singing. <laughs> I, I then passed out on a couch or the ground can't really remember. Next morning was horrible. I remember running out the back door and vomiting all over their backyard. Next up we go to Subway. Great idea, getting a sandwich for breakfast. Nope. After Subway we went to Holiday World because they all had to work and me and my cousin were going there to watch the shows and go on the rides. I didn't even make it in. We walked up the big sign says Holiday World. People are going in, getting their tickets, ready to enjoy their day. And there I was, with my head in a trash can, puking up that subway. All these people were ready to go on their day, ride the rides, watch the shows, go to the water park. And they started off their day seeing a girl throwing up in a trash can. Third story, since we are on the topic of Holiday World, Okay, uh, 
A few years later, I was actually hired to be a performer. But let me tell you a story about my first day of work. The night before my first day of work was my junior prom. Prom happened. That was fun. Then the after party happened. I remember staying up until the sun came out. I maybe got two hours of sleep. Went on to Holiday World, an hour drive. I was feeling okay, whatever. 10 minutes before showtime, I was throwing up in the bathroom. <sighs> I missed my first show. The owner of Holiday World was there to see that first show because it was a new show that no one has ever seen and I didn't perform. She never came back to see me perform. Uh, I give very good first impressions. Mm -hmm. I performed the other four shows and it was fine. Needless to say, I never showed up to work hungover. Again. This is about prom again. Um, so prom happened and then we went to the after prom which is when they hold activities and games and stuff at the high school. So we got to the high school. Um, I was enjoying my time with the lame activities and all that stuff. And all of a sudden a police guy um, comes up to me, grabs my arm, say, let's go. I was like, what the, what, what, me? I'm trying to enjoy my time with these stupid activities and you are ruining it. I didn't say that I should have though. I end up in the room with the friends I drove to prom with. Apparently someone left a bottle out in the open in the back seat of the car. There were cops going through everybody's cars that night. We didn't know. That's stupid. Why would they do that? But we sat in this room for maybe an hour. Uh, once again, they call our parents. Some of my friend's parents were really upset. My mom was chill. Love you, mom. What up, mom? Whoop. That's how my senior prom ended. And this is my last story. You know that movie, Perks of Being a Wallflower, how they're like in the back of the truck saying, we're all infinite. Nah. I did that way before that movie came out. <laughs> my friend Brayden used to have this black Hummer and um, one night me, Brayden, and my friend Lindsay had this wild idea that we should ride on top of the roof of the Hummer going down the road. So we did it. We got in the car. Lindsay went first. Um, we just drove back and forth to my house and Brayden's house. It's about like a mile or something, two, five, I don't know. <laughs> I remember her just like screaming and laughing. We were like feeling infinite and shit. I don't know. <laughs> then it was my turn. Uh, so I get, I climb on the roof and I hold on like this on my stomach. And uh, Brayden drives really fast. <laughs> I remember when I was holding on, I closed my eyes because the wind was hurting my eyes. And uh, that feeling was amazing and I will never forget it. Next up it was Brayden's turn. So I drove the Hummer. And um, after we got back to his place, we all sat on the couch and just looked at each other and just said, what the hell did we just do? Take that, perks of being a wallflower. Well, those are some crazy summer stories of mine. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to hear more crazy stories of mine in the future videos. And I have one piece of advice for you guys. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye!